Hello guys, in this video I'd like to talk about Damien Hirst, his art that I've seen at uh, Villa Borghese in Rome um, at the end of September 2021. I revisited the Borghese Gallery in Rome and encountered Damien's um, solo exhibition titled Treasures uh, from the Wreck of the Unbelievable. It's a collection of sculptural works from a fictional shipwreck off the coast of East Africa. Walking around the gallery, I couldn't but notice a thoughtful placement of the artist pieces in the rooms. Um, most uh, pieces fit organically into the gallery space that goes overboard with art by design. Powerful Varghese family members were avid art collectors and patrons of the arts. That's why their exuberant art collection boasts with so many masterpieces by the 16th and 17th century artists like Caravaggio, Bernini and Canova. Um, they also have a collection of antiques uh, that's displayed uh, around the gallery. Born in 1965, Damien Hirst is a British contemporary artist who explores themes of life and death. Because he sees no separation between life and art, these themes become his art, which is an amalgam of painting, sculpture and installation. The theme of death is one of the central themes in the Western art world, but every artist is able to take it into a different direction. First shown in Venice in 2017, Treasures from the Wreck of the Unbelievable is a show with some merit. Sculptural works utilize traditional and precious metals such as marble, alabaster, lapis, coral, crystals, malachite, and bronze. Some sculptures were very beautiful and classical in nature, um, which is basically long forgotten by the contemporary art galleries. It was fun to spot uh, contemporary art by Hearst right next to, you know, standing right next to the antiques of the Borghese Gallery permanent collection. Uh, some sculptures did give a feeling of uh, rescued objects from the ocean floor as colorful barnacles and sea creatures covered the surface of many sculptures. Some body parts were missing or got obscured by the sea overgrowth. While most of the sculptures fit well within the space, um, the artworks were strikingly different in the level of execution. It prompted um, a question who really made these works and how much of it was her skill and vision. Some were very classical in nature, while others looked like leftovers from the modernism. Some pieces were beautiful and engaging, while others looked strange and too primitive to be called art, especially in comparison to the art collection of the Borghese family. So how original is De Damien Hirst? Hirst is the all over the place artist in my opinion. He produced a variety of art that would be frowned upon in any graduate school where consistency of theme, size and approach is encouraged and basically required to graduate. And this is where the rules get broken. The artist rose to fame with a number of controversial art pieces and um, you know, the notorious diamond skull, beautiful entomology paintings, sharks in formaldehyde, peel cabinets, dot paintings, neoclassical sculptures, installations, and so much more. You know, this is everything made by Hearst or not really. I think it's okay to evolve and transition into new art forms or body of works 
over the years as we artists experience change and so art changes with us. However, Hearst seems to drift from one idea to the next that doesn't have a clear connection to the previous work in either technique or vision. Usually we can see one work by the artist and recognize the style in subsequent works, even if it's quite different. Damien Hurst puzzled me in this regard because his series of paintings or sculptures uh, have no connection to each other. The exhibit made me think of a Renaissance workshop. Workshops used to be the only way of learning and tr training young artists in the Renaissance Italy. Uh, that's how Da Vinci painted his first angel in the Verrocchio's painting. Um, vision and ideas were of the master artists who painted major figures and finished paintings. Uh, master artists worked on image designs, composition, color, and so on, while art students mixed paints, helped with image transferal, and some underpainting. Based on presented sculptures at the gal uh, gallery, I saw that Damien Hearst's workshop functions quite differently. The apprentices seem to be the creators. Uh, and you know, a workshop may do all the art where some contemporary artists or apprentices are very skillful. Um, that explains great inconsistency and variety of produced art by Damien Hearst. Painted bronze sculpture uh, titled Pair of Slaves Bound for execu Execution was the most exceptional contemporary art piece I've seen in a long time. Um, showing balance, grace, and the perfection of anatomy central to classical art. While a piece with a giant foot, <laughs> a squirrel, and ear on top of a squirrel, and another piece, uh, a bronze uh, standing figure, looked very immature and grotesque, in my opinion. So here's the question, are workshop artists mere laborers or the creators on their own right? Based on the produced and shown art at the Villa Borghese, Hearst created a factory of talented artists who do all the work but marketing. And in, the, in this case, it looks like marketing is everything really. Remove the name from any of these works and they won't be fetching top dollar for art. Now, many famous contemporary artists uh, do keep the workshops. We can explore the workshops, workshops of contemporary realist artist Kehin de Weile or the glass blower Chihuly. You can find their art pieces in many permanent uh, art collections. The key difference is that these artists are true to their unique vision and every piece feels like a continuation of the artist's previous work. Artists in their workshops are the helpers, not sole creators of art. That's my opinion, of course, you may not agree with. There is no doubt that Damien Hirst is a very smart artist. He is also a great publicity guru. Uh, he created and marketed himself as a top luxury brand for the wealthy to invest in. There is a lot to either admire or learn from this living artist. So what do you think of his art? Um, you know, you can share your opinion in the comments below this video. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you find it uh, fun, educational and inspiring, uh, you're welcome to share this video with your friends on social media. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.